sunglasses. I just don't get them. Um, I mean, obviously under certain circumstances, like you're an aircraft pilot and you're flying into the sun and you have to be looking that way for hours on end, it's terribly important, whatever. Yes, there are certain circumstances when the wearing of sunglasses seems quite practical, but I'm talking about the, just the, the normal wearing of such things day to day. Now, before I came on this trip to Turkey, a friend of mine said, oh, what? You haven't got any sunglasses? You're not taking any? Oh, it's the most important piece of kit. It's the first thing I pack. And um, she... <laughs> Ice cream van, <laughs> such an Islamic sound. Um, and uh, I do, out of uh, recognition of her kindness, I did pack them. Uh, I think perhaps she uh, uh, saw me as you know, one of life's natural George Michael impersonators. Um, but I've so far not been using them at all. In fact, that's the first time I've worn them, just then. And I suspect it's going to be the last as well, because I don't want to see the world through these. I want to see the world as it actually is, which I can't, of course, because my eyes deceive me quite a bit. But they're deceiving me quite a bit as it is. I don't want any greater deception. I don't want any greater removal from the real world. As soon as you do this, that you're behind a sheet of glass and everything looks not quite right. And anyone I talk to doesn't actually see my face, can't actually read my expression so well. I want people to be able to see my face and I want to be able to see the world closer to the way it actually is. Um, and once met an American, he was perhaps the most traveled man I'd ever met. He'd been everywhere and, and he distinguished himself in a number of ways. Um, one, he had the most staggeringly appalling sense of direction. Two, he had nothing interesting to say about anywhere he had been. He seemed to have gained no insight into the human condition from his travels. And three, he literally wore rose-tinted spectacles. He'd been all around the world and he'd seen the whole lot through these specks, through the, the filter of this bizarre colour that he'd chosen. Um, no, if I'm going to go around the world, I want to see the world the way it actually is. And so I'm not going to be using these. If you do need shade for your eyes, a hat, particularly a beige hat. Excellent. Don't need to squint at all. 